Hello, good day to all of you. So I'll be discussing to you the process of taking the online certification exam by the use of the OnView application that was launched by PearsonView. So this will be the part two of my YouTube video. Now, I will be sharing to you the, uh, the preparations before the exam day and on the exam day. Okay? So as we move on, Okay, so again, I am your speaker. Again, Mark Anthony V. Melendres. So these are my professional qualifications and international certifications that was discussed on the first part of the video. Now, as we move on, now these are my tips and tricks no? on site. Okay, so before the exam day, well, when you say on site, by the way, uh, this is the uh, you are going to, to an accredited person view exam center so very simple so you need to bring two to three valid ids so what are these two government ids or one government id and one private id or two government ids and one private id so rest assured that you can take your exam a plenty of ids you bring as much as you want no so now on the exam day, okay, so this is, uh, this must be, no? Very important to you guys, you know? So when the test day arrives, make sure that, again, you must have six to eight hours of good rest and sleep, okay? And eat your meal, your usual meal, don't change your routine, you know? So to avoid... Uh, to avoid problems on your stomach. So give yourself enough time to get to the test center. So 30 minutes to one hour, at least, no? you are on the exam center area. So bring the proper IDs that was prepared before the exam day. So read all the test instruction and candidate rules thoroughly and take your time and read exam questions carefully. But since we are in the COVID-19 issues or global pandemic issues so I, I am advising you to use this on view application you know all of the prepara all of these preparations are same on the on view okay so when you say on view exam again so you will be taking your exam at home or at the office so again i will be sharing to you on the next slide so what you will be uh, doing on the exam day so 15 minutes before the exam time or your exam schedule so you need to log in on your person view account so you must sign in your username and your password so after your signing after you sign in so you need to take begin exam okay so begin exam then after that you will be going to this part of copying the access code and then part two you need to download the on view application that will be going to the downloads folder anyway you can cut it and then paste on your desktop if you want i know like this now after copying the access code and after downloading this application so you need to proceed to, to the next part double click this uh, uh this download downloaded on view application and then you will be proceeding on this part. So you need to paste the access code here. Okay. And then you need to uh, input your phone number. So here in the Philippines, we have the plus 63 country code. And then the rest will be your phone number. So after logging, after uh, putting that on, your, uh, on the part one and two, okay, the access code and the phone number. And you will be proceeding to the next part, the check-in process. So the system check, your picture, your photo identification, your workspace verification, and the uh, close all application. So you need to check, you need to tick your eighteen about your eighteen years of age or older, and then get started. Now the first part will be the system check. So again, uh, the person view must check your this. 
uh, your three important requirements, your microphone, your internet speed, and your webcam. Okay? And then next. Now, you, can, you need to use your mobile phone. Okay? Your mobile phone is very important to this uh, on-view preparation exam. Now, you need to select the URL into your mobile phone. So you need to check, you need to tick this one. So after ticking that, so you need to, uh, to type this m.procorcam.com question mark i equals en dash us and then enter the access code on your mobile phone. And then we will be now checking the workspace verification. So you, need, you don't need to refresh first, no? You need to go to your mobile first, typing this uh, on the URL of your, if you have uh, the Google Chrome, like this one. Okay, so you need to type procurecam.com slash access. So you need to type the access code, okay, like this one. So proceed to the next. So this is your mobile, huh? And then the step three, you need, to, you need to take your photo. So take a photo of yourself in your in your testing workspace. Your face has to be well lit and in focus means that you must have a good lighting. So to, uh, uh, for the application, uh, for this application. Now on the step four, so like this one, so make sure the photo is oriented correctly. If needed, if needed you, you use the rotate tool and until it is correctly displayed like this one, okay? And on the step five, okay, so what are your identifications? So you need to check if you have the driver's license of, or if you have the passport. But how about if you do not have a passport with you or you don't have your driver's license? So on the international viewers, I, know, I think you have this one. Know, or if you, if you don't have these two, you need to have your uh, government issued ID on your country. Here in the Philippines, we have the PRC license, uh, PRC ID, or the Professional Regulations Commission Identification Card, or the Multipurpose ID, okay? And other government issued ID that was not listed on this uh, select identification type, okay? Now, after that, you need to, uh, on the step seven, so you need to uh, capture your front, the front and the back of the uh, uh, government, government issued ID. So the instruction, the full name and face must be clearly visible. Identification cannot be expired and only take a photo of the ID page. Okay? So this will be the top, just step number seven. Now, Step number eight, so you need to prepare your workspace before continuing. So ensure you are not disturbed. Clear notes, okay, note, note taking boards and equipment. So disconnect extra monitors, projectors, television. So place food smoking equipment out of sight. So it must be cleared, okay? So no electronic devices, headphones on your table. So you need to capture the front the front, the back, the left, and the right, okay? So, it, uh, as you can see, it is all clear. No, uh, no posters, no reviewers on the table. It's just the mouse, no? And the laptop or your computer. And lastly, on the, on the step number 10, after the photos are being uploaded, no? You must proceed on the next part. But additional reminder, so notify your relatives and office mate about your on-view exam. So just be quiet. Don't disturb. So you must tell them. Notify your friendly neighbors too. No, 30, to, 30 to 60 minutes before your exam. So on your door, you, you, you place don't disturb note for the others not notified. Okay? Remove any pictures or posters on your wall. So I have said earlier. Okay, so now after that mobile, uh, mobile input information, so you need to refresh. No? So you need to refresh that and then 
These are the exam rule reminder. So again, no one is permitted in your work area for any reason. You may not leave your work area for any reason. You cannot use scratch paper, take physical notes or talk, as in no talk. You, uh, you don't need to read your, your, uh, your questions loudly. Food, drinks, smokes, and gums are prohibited. So you need to check this, that you are agreeing that breaking rules will result in my exam being revoked. So be careful and be mindful. Okay? Then after that, by clicking next, you need to close all of the applications on your computer or on your laptop, or your Facebook account, your, your, your whatsoever applications in your computer. Just only this uh, on view application. And then you need to type next. This is for, for you to minimize the risk of disruption. Well, I experienced uh, uh, the, what you call the cleaner, So I forgot to close the cleaner, and then my exam was interrupted. Then the, uh, the on-view proctor just chat to me that you need to uh, close the cleaner of your laptop. And then the time was not, uh, was not moving after that problem, after that disruption, okay? So, a sort of advice. So, you need to uh, close off the all of your applications. So, for the minimizing the risk of disruption, okay? Now, after closing off, after, uh, before clicking the next, okay? So, you need to urinate. Drink small amount of water for your brain, okay? And then remove all of the, uh, what you call in the galog, the kaba, okay? <laughs> Kailangan mong tanggalin lahat ng kaba mo sa dibdib, ayan, okay? Now, on this last part, so you're almost done with the check-in process, so you need to wait 15 minutes, or okay, less than or equal 15 minutes before the exam will be launched. If you have no, if there is no problem on what you have submitted, that the pictures that, that was submitted earlier, so the exam will be proceeded. Okay. And that will be my uh, uh, last video for this uh on view application so thank you for watching please like and subscribe my youtube channel for more tutorials okay now so this is my uh motivation so if you believe in yourself you can be whatever you want to be okay so credits to that owner ano? and credits credits to the www.personview.com as my reliable source for my information that was discuss to this YouTube video. So again, so if you have some questions, so you need to comment on my uh, on the YouTube the YouTube channel uh, YouTube video. Okay. So thank you and have a nice day. God bless to all of you.